home concerned soon poop, yes. Um, okay, we can go poop right now if you want. Right now we have 46 buttons on the board and then there's one button outside of the door which says inside. Each button corresponds to a specific word or phrase that she can use independently or in combination with other words to achieve a certain goal. My name is Alexis Devine. So I'm not a scientist, completely underqualified to be teaching my dog how to talk. The response has been overwhelmingly positive. TikTok, I just sort of started on a whim. It's been a month now and two million followers. So it's been pretty overwhelming. I was inspired by Christina Hunger, who's a speech language pathologist down in San Diego. I came across her Instagram and I thought it was just amazing what she was doing and uh, sort of potential for communication with animals. What I've learned is that um, AAC, Augmentative and Alternative Communication, is um, a communication device used to help nonverbal people communicate. Stephen Hawking used a device similar to that. So Christina, the speech language pathologist, decided to see if it was possible for her dog to start learning to speak using the buttons as well. Okay, I hear you, let's go. So I thought I'd give it a shot when I brought Bunny home. And I started with an outside button and she got the hang of it within just a few weeks. And then when she was using that button consistently, um, that's when we added it to the board and we added play, come and love you at that point in time through a series of thousands of tiny reinforcements, she learns um, the meaning of each button. It didn't take us long before she was consistently smashing the play button and like grabbing a tug toy, bringing it over to us, you know, um, demanding interaction in that way. Love You was, um, you know, it's quite a bit more abstract, so it was a little bit more challenging to model. I would give her some affection, I would walk over to the board, I would model the love you button, and then I would give her the type of affection that she's m most keen on. The concept of love you to her is, you know, definitely different than it is to us. Oh, I love you too. But it has an affectionate meaning. Same uh, is true for the larger meanings. Love you know? Oh my God, Bunny. Through repetition and combination of those two words, she learns of their combined meaning. Come later, can I come later? I was trying to take a nap. Do you need me to come now? No. Oh, okay. So um, I was using that system for I think about six months before I um, met up with Leo Trottier who's a cognitive scientist who was developing uh, prototypes of devices specifically for uh, canine AAC to help them uh, learn more efficiently and communicate uh, better. And so those hexes are um, subdivided into categories of like uh, sentence parts, which is based off of the Fitzgerald key, um, which was used to help deaf children learn to communicate in the early 1900s. I think right now we're adding some of the who, what, when, where, why buttons just to see what's really going on in her mind, see if she can um, engage in a little bit more dialogue. So, for example, we play the where dad, where mom game with her a lot, and that's how we sort of got her comfortable with the concept of mom and dad. Dad upstairs, you wanna go see him? Yeah. Good girl. Where's dad? Where's dad? There he is. She said, love you, dad. Love you, buddy. There was one time where she pressed the question mark button and then the ouch button and alerted me to the fact that she had a cut on her nose that had become infected. And we went to the vet and the vet said, it's a good thing you came in when you did. We got her some medicine and yeah, so that was that was a big one. And again, you know, with my skepticism, I don't, was that coincidence? Both of those were fairly new buttons. Did she, did she know what she was pressing? Was she directing me to, to the fact that she had an injury or was she just exploring buttons? And coincidentally, she also had an injury. So I don't know, but I thought that was pretty powerful and I thought the potential of that was pretty powerful. What if our dogs could tell us um, specifically when a certain part of their body was in pain, you know, that would be pretty, would be pretty amazing for a lot of people. Okay, let's try again. What? What? 
Yay! Yes! I definitely have considered myself a hopeful skeptic. And the more I think about it, I'm not even sure what I'm hopeful for. Um, because the process is so fascinating in and of itself that it doesn't necessarily have to lead anywhere for it to be engaging for me and for her. Bunny, that's you. You're Bunny. Love you, Bunny. Bunny. Yeah, Bunny friend, that's right. I think it's kind of the grand Skinner versus Chomsky debate, like is language learned or is it innate? Um, and I think like many great debates, the truth probably lies somewhere in the middle. Bunny friend. Yes. yes. Bunny friend. <laughs>